Greetings everyone, what is up? It's me again, Tim Prime 1 with another video review. If you're on this video review, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers MPM05, which should actually be 03, I believe, Barricade. Now, he is the, one of the next ones in line for the MPM line that came out a few years ago. And I must say this, I really do like this figure. Here, Bumblebee, along with the um, Bumblebee Bumble from the Bumblebee movie, these are the guys that I managed to wrap up from a good friend of mine who owns a comic book shop. And I must say, really good figure, really great box art detailing right here. And I will have to say this, excuse me, um, I'll have to say that I, will, I almost had to purchase a new figure of him until I finally found the weapon that he came with. It was inside this box right here since I left him inside this box. Because, yeah, I'm trying not to lose a whole lot of my figures and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm glad that I managed excuse me, to keep all of him as much as possible. But, yeah. And you can tell the box. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I got to get myself a new tripod. This box right here is, obviously, you can definitely tell from this box right here. Um, it's it's a bit, it's pretty much banged up a good bit, but still in good condition. You can see the Takara Tomy logo right here. Sorry about that. I gotta lower this leg. There we go. Which does make this a wee bit uneven. I'm just gonna try to even this on out as much as possible. Yeah. I gotta get myself a much better, tri I gotta get myself a different tripod, uh, as I said before. <laughs> I'm going to zoom back a bit, zoom up a wee bit, there we go, <clears throat> here we are, taking a look at the box art detailing right here, you can see Barricade right here with that line that's across him, I know that a lot of people are probably annoyed by that line, but we all should get used to that right there, because this is part of the transformation process for Barricade, I don't think there was any other way around that piece right there, also taking a look at Barricade right here, really nice robot mode, I was say vehicle mode, really Nice robot mode. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry. I had some had some cookies not too long ago. But yeah, really, really nice. And I'm curious as to why it says age is eight plus. That I am questioning right there heavily because one, this should not be for, for ages eight plus. It needs to be more for ages like maybe um sixteen plus or at least thirteen plus or something. Because like Kids are not, kids should, like, kids below the age of, I th think, 13 and under should not have to, can, should not mess with this right here. This should be more for older collectors right here, but I will admit, if a kid does want to have this, then they should have it, but still, I do, I do kind of question at the same time of the ages 8 plus right there. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and both has one to card told me, but goes right there, really nice. And the Transformers logo right here, Transformers, right there, and the Transformers logo for the film, of the first movie, really nice, Masterpiece Movie Series, aka MPM. <clears throat> Sometimes that cookie does not want to get unlocked in front of the throat. Yeah. Looking on this side of the box right here, you can see it says MPM5, well, MPM, it should be MPM3 still. And Barricade in his vehicle mode, Transformers, right up there. Barricade, Decepticon, little Decepticon symbol right there. Purple Decepticon symbol, the original color. Transformers MPM on the top. Right here, here is his robot mode right there. So I'm just a little bit tired. But yeah, here's robot mode right here. And a face only a mother could love. Ugh, I don't know how she could love that right there. And also back right here, you can see all the barricade and his main weapon right there. The weapon that was only briefly shown in the first movie. Right there, you can see the, the tires right there. That I believe that this is what his fist was supposed to turn into or something. I'm not for sure, but yeah. Also, movable faceplate, rotor blade weapon, so on and so forth. Yes, right there. And also Ford. Officially licensed product. So yeah, and also Ford right there on the front of the box. And that is it for the um pro and that's for it for the product shots right there. So now zoom in. Zoom in. 
on to MP Barricade. I'm going to angle the camera on up a wee bit so we can look at this guy. Take him on out. Really nice and really nice right here. Really great little <clears throat> little little video come out of here. I'll say this looking at him through my camera, he does look like he's relatively small, but he is truly is not small. He is fairly large and they have definitely done a really good job with the MPM scaling on him right here. Looking at the front of the vehicle mode right here, you can see the nice grill detail right in there, along with a bit of a metallic blue for the lights right there. You can also see the silver and also some a little bit of gold right here on him as well. Little orange lights as well. Very, very nice. Little Decepticon logo right there on the side. On this side of the vehicle mode, it is hard to get this thing flushed together completely. We have police here, 1865. I do not know what that writing says on it. And it, yeah, I want to see if I can. Yeah, I can't. I can't really. <laughs> if that is writing, I cannot read it. it. Is way too tiny. Unless those are just markings around the set the gun symbol right there. You can see it says police six four three. Emergency response of 911 to punch and slave. I would not call it if my life depended on it. But yeah, really nice. Really, really nice. Police right there and also 643 on the top. Going around right here. Police right there. 1865 right there. 643 to punch and slave. Everything else right there. Really nice job back here with the lights along with the license plate 1 4027 E Oklahoma State. <laughs> Oklahoma State. So Barricade probably just scanned a police cruiser in Oklahoma and drove all the way, I think, to California. I am not fully for certain. But yeah, really nice vehicle mode. Really nice. I'm going to just zoom back a wee bit. Ah, oh, that's a lot better. That's much better right there. Really good look in vehicle mode. I really like what they did right here with the overall detailing on him. You can see a little bit of the of like the um transformation parts inside of here. I don't know why they did this right here. I had, I think that they obviously had looked at the uh, probably the concept out of him or the 3D model of him from the first movie. I'm not for 100 for certain of how they model these guys. But yeah, they definitely had to have modeled him from right there. Really good detailing on him. And also I had to maneuver his head right down here a wee bit, just a wee bit. Really nice. You can see his little crotch detailing right there and same with up here. And I know I say really nice a whole lot. It's only because I really do like how they do make a lot of these figures right here. Yeah, really good looking figures right here. Also, I do like the fact of how they split this in the middle. And also, hang on, I'm going to try to fix up. There it goes. There it goes. A little bit more clear right there. A little bit more clear. Yeah, really good. Really nice little place cooler. Now for some comparisons. I'm going to go ahead and push Barricade back this way. And I never managed to get the original barricade that came out for the 07 film or the Human Alliance, or from what I've heard, I don't, can't remember which Super Trooper said it, I think it was Piug or Optobotamus or maybe um, or Emgo, but Human Defiance version of him. But yeah, um, here he is with NPM Bumblebee. You see all these two rivals scale between each other. There we go. Also, here he is with NPM Optimus Prime. There we go. There we are. And there we go. So now that we got that down now, wait with the school ahead and I'm gonna move Optimus and Bombi off the table real fast so I can go ahead and get down to the transformation process. Now, from what I learned from MGO is that you want to go up right here. There we go. There we are. 
jam right there and then the whole back assembly right here will be much easier to follow through with there's one thing i never quite understood from hasbro and takara tell me why did why didn't they just experiment with these things like a, like multiple times before they were like okay we now got the transformation process down more properly let's just put it down the instructions of how to do it the exact way so yeah there we go there we go and just open up this right here there we go and i'll say this these mpm figures are really amazing but they're a pain in the in the, in the keister just to transform properly there we go so far barricade come on there we go there we are now what i'm going to do next is this i'm going to go ahead and just bring this on down a tad bit the hood will come up like so and you can and you'll fold this on down right there let's go ahead just bring his arms on down so far bring his entire waist assembly on down there we go there we are now take his head right here and just bring it on up this way it can get revealed and you can see like a bit of the a bit of photo detailing right there on him i guess i'm not for sure if this was actually supposed to be part of his vehicle mode or not so yeah there we go also go ahead and bring this on down a bit, a bit more go ahead and go these right here and i'm going to have to bring this on up a great deal there zoom out a bit more and yeah i've been noticing like a little something on my camera i am needing to see if i'm getting that fixed up properly i have no idea what has been going on like like if you all have been noticing a little black spot on there i have no idea how that's even occurring right there i have no idea what all is going on with that okay there we go so far now go ahead bring this entire assembly right on down there we go now this right here will have has a has a big enough opening to place these two through it so go ahead and just there we go there we are now go ahead and bring around his robot claws the claw <laughs> also i'm gonna adjust myself here we go here we are that's a lot better Go ahead and do the same thing with this one over here. Bring it on out right there. Now this somehow gets tabbed in over here. I have no idea how I'm going to see if I can at least get a glimpse of where it tabs in at. Because yeah, you have to like literally like I think there's like a tab right in there someplace to where this thing where you have to rotate this thing around. Let's see here. I'm gonna yeah, I think that's the tab piece right there, and the slot is definitely up in here somewhere. To where you, oh, I think I see it now. I think I, oh, I think I see it, yeah. There's like a little t tab right there that goes into into that little groove area down in there, which is also, I think, a tab. So that way, once you have it right there, it goes in to, ah, there we go, right there. So yeah, that right there, that right there is like a slot, right there is the tab. Right there and that will go right in, into there so that's what we have right there now this has three his his hand has three tabs on there which will go into the tire right here rotate this around first okay come on sorry about bumping the camera oh come on oh boy 
Yeah, boy, hang on. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to really force it. There we go. And also, you want to slide this on down. Rotate this a good bit. I'll go ahead and line this up properly so you can just get everything tabbed into place right there. There we go. There we are. Now, right over here, and tap this. There we go. Wait, first things first, let's bring this back. Bring this right there. Slide it on up. Bring this up here. Rotate his hand around. Now just go ahead and just tab it in the right way. I have to get everything in a precise alignment. It does not really matter which tire groove it goes in. It does not matter which, which of these grooves it goes into. It has to attach in there properly. If I think this is the one I've been having problems with. Yep, I've been having a lot of problems with this one. Hang on for a second. And now I got it. I got his hand in there the correct way. Yeah, I've been having some trouble with that right there. So now with this piece right here, you want to go ahead and flip this piece on up right there so it can come all the way up and over the um the right where the tire goes into right there, fill in that gap, rotate this on around and just rotate right there. There we go. Just anything over here. Bring this on down. Bring it on up. Rotate that in the rotate that right there and bring this line up right there. There we go. There we are. Rotate this, run on around. Right there we are. There we go. There we are so far. Now this this little piece right here will come up into here. Just gonna go ahead. Now this will tab into that slot right in there. No, not that slot, that slot. <laughs> Correction. Yep. And now I'll do the same thing on this side right here. Bring it on up and over. And there we are. Oh boy. Itchy piece, itchy head, itchy head. Now, right here, you want to go and take this, rotate these on down. And just place this right up here, and this little lip will go into this little section up here. There we go. Here we are. Now that we have that right there, go ahead and split the legs. Rotate this on up, rotate this on down, bring this on up, bring this on down. And what you want to do with these over here is very simplistic, really. Just rotate this right there and just rotate that end right there. And if at all possible, unless of course if I rotated or no, I rotated around the correct way. So yeah, do it like that right there and just Fold it into right there, tab it into place right there, and just do the same thing right here. And rotate this around. Now, what you want to do is make sure this goes in there properly. You can see that little groove right there. This will go into that little groove. I'll tuck it on the other side and just come on. There we go. That's a lot easier. Just had to open this up again right there so that way you could put that in there properly. I'll show you. There we go. Might as well bring it up the little spikes on his feet. Now what you want to do is make sure you take this entire assembly right here. Now first let's go ahead and ankle these a wee bit right there, right there. Bring up, bring up this, bring up this a little bit. 
Now, I'll take his little wings, rotate them on up. Now, this way you can get some clearance. This little tab right there will go into the slot right there. And just tab that into place. There you go. There we are. And I'd say we are done. We are done with transforming him. And he is looking very much menacing. He goes, zoom in a good bit. Put him into the middle. There we have him. Now with Barricade right here, you can definitely tell about what they all have done with him so far. Really good detailing on him within his robot mode. Really great. And right here in the chest area right there, it definitely does split a whole lot right there. Skipping just to show he's more menacing area. And also let's flip this on up a bit because I forgot to do that earlier on. There we go so far. There we have it. <laughs> also, this has got to be separate from right there. So, yeah, there we go. I think it's a lot better. So, yeah, really great overall detailing on Barricade. Love the look on his face. Just love the look. You can open up his mouth. You use only days one, two, one, seven. Close up his mouth. He has his little claw hands, his little claws. Only his thumb is posable. I do not think. Oh, wait, they are posable, but only on a singular. They're all, but they all move at once, so they didn't make his fists uh, posable at all. And I will say this I do know about the upgrade set for him and Starscream, and I do plan on getting that as soon as I possibly can. So, yeah, really overall nice figure. Really good blue coloring on him. I really do like all that right there. And this does have a tendency to pop on out when, un when unnecessarily needed. So yeah, there we go. There we are. He does have some posability within his elbow right there. Same with this elbow over here. This can come on down sometimes. Yeah, for a second, let me see if I can fix it on up. There we go. There we are. And just, there we go. There we, there we have it. There you go so far. Really nice overall look right there. Really nice overall look on Barricade. Right there in this flip book for that back on up right there. I really do love all the detailing that they put in on his vehicle mode, especially to make him as movie accurate as possible. This is like very, very purely movie accurate. I'm gonna put him right here. I'm gonna move my camera over a bit. Now, if you are wondering about his main weapon, I'm going to try putting it back onto this thing, which I doubt. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. There we go. I got it. His weapon does come on a bit of a stand right there. So that way you guys can just put it right here, like right next to him with pause if you want to. Maybe lower the camera a wee bit. There we go. There we can see a little, his little weapon right here. And now I'll just go ahead and place. This back on up right here. Pull this part off his weapon right there. Now I am not for sure of how to put this weapon on. Excuse me. I am not fully for sure of how to do so, but I will look at this this box right here. According to this, I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to. Let's see. If if I'm reading this correctly. Hmm. Bring this on down. There we go. Push it on down. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking. I think this will on tap him right there. Over here again. Uh huh. Because in the movies, I have noticed, in like the movies, I have been noticing of how much they use their left hand over their right hand, the, the Subdicons. So 
of like this is not doing well. Hmm. From what I can tell, from what I'm trying to guess on this thing right here, his little weapon. It looks like this is supposed to flip around or something. Yeah, I think it is because, like, let's see here. I think it's supposed to kind of go back into this area down here, maybe. Oh, don't want to do that. Pull this one up. Put it right back up into there. Now, if I'm going to guess on this one correctly. Oh, I see it now. I see it now. You want to tab this little piece into there. And if I'm if I got this correct, I got this correct. Um, hmm. Yeah, I got it all. As I could as oh now I see it. Now I see there's like a little slot right in there. The slot right in there. Little tab right there. The tab right here. We're going to slot right there. And there we have it. There's a little bar there's barricades weapon right there. His little spinning blade of death. I will attack you the words with my spinning blade of death right here. I will attack you all right now. Drat. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you put it on right there. Little hook will go right to there. That way he can have like his little blade of death. Yeah, for a second let me fix this off. Also when I did that I just I I noticed that like when you do tab this on right here, this little piece right here will overlap on the bottom right there. So once you do this right here, you want to go ahead. There we go. This way it'll stay right there, nice and solid, or solid as possible. Try to put that one in there one more time. There we go. We are just rotate this one around. Tab that into place up there. There we go. There we are. And there we have it, his little spinning blade of death. So yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now if we're gonna put this back in proper order. Hang on for a second. And there we go. I got them all fixed on up with right there. Now before I get down to his posability, I will go ahead and and I just noticed his little claw hand is up in the air, so I'm gonna put it on down. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to zoom back to do some size comparisons. Let him go fast. Let it come up properly. Now for NPM Optimus Prime. And his rival, NPM Bumblebee. If he'll stand, please stand. There we go. So yeah, there we have it. I think we'll leave just a hair shorter. Just a hair shorter. For your proposability, what you have right here is plain and simple. His arm can go up and down and all around. Nothing blocking him right there. You do it like that right there. You, we saw earlier, he can do these splits and very good ratchet joints right there. He has a little bit of die cast, just a little bit of die cast on him. Head moves around a good bit. You have good 
eyes right there, and we've got Decepticon eyes, right? Decepticon eyes. And I can't believe he's voiced by the same guy that I forgot to do Ironhide in both vehicle and in robot. I, I just try to do that much, much later on, just much later on for a short, for a size comparison. But we all know that Barricade is much smaller than Ironhide in all reality. But yeah, I'll just update that later on with a short. So yeah, that this is Barricade. You can find this is NPM Barricade. You can find him on TF Source if, if still possible, or maybe BigBadToysRoll.com, maybe RobotKingdom.com, or wherever, you, or wherever you can find this guy at. And also, if you guys want to do so, you guys can also hit the like button, subscribe to both me and Richmaker, and check out my Tim Prime 1 Gaming channel. Also, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and also look for me on Facebook. Look me on social. Look for me on social media such as, such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord, and so on. Until next time, I'm Tim One, and I'll be signing off right now. So peace out.